This is Baltasar. When he is confused by the news or having a hard time to keep up with his friends' discussions, a sensible thing to do is to hurry home and do some proper research. Luckily, Google provides him willingly with an endless stream of articles, news items and videos. Often articles and videos use data in order to support their argument and the best way to make sense of endless numbers and conclusions is to visualize this data. Data visualization is the graphical representation of information. Charts, diagrams, scatter plots, timelines. With an increasing amount of people studying increasingly complicated topics, there has been a huge development of tools to present complex information in an understandable way. These tools can contextualize but also simplify. When facing a 25 page article and a well designed infographic covering the same topic, the choice for Balthazar is easily made. Humans are incredibly sensitive to visual data. We are wired to trust our core senses, to believe what we see. But can we really? This makes Balthazar curious if he can really trust in what he sees. When he is reading the news the next day, he comes across an infographic. So what does he see? The world is divided into countries, which are divided into three homogeneous groups indicated by different colors. They represent three categories, free, partly free and unfree. This seems easy enough, right? The visualization makes it easy to see how free different countries around the globe are. One can clearly see the expected difference between Netherlands and Yemen and everything supported by research. The map seems comprehensive, understandable and useful. But he decides to take a closer look. First he wants to know who made this infographic. The Freedom House was founded in 1941 in response to 20th century totalitarianism. In their words, they aim to be an independent watchdog organization dedicated to the expansion of freedom around the world. This sounds like an honorable mission, but their independence has been questioned. The Freedom House is financed almost entirely by the US government. Also, the board of trustees consists of many former US government officials. It makes Balthasar wonder who actually uses their reports. He finds that mostly Western media uses the Freedom House reports. Does that say anything about its content? Let's go back to where it all began. This infographic shows the state of freedom. Apparently there are three types of freedom. Balthazar asks himself whose definition of freedom is actually used here. Freedom House defines freedom in terms of political rights and civil liberties. And most significant in that definition is the emphasis on the individual. So they ask how free all individuals are around the globe. But Balthasar knows that this is only one definition. Freedom should be understood as part of a social reality of those that experience it or the lack thereof. This means that it's hard to say if that there is a freedom that can be measured everywhere in the same way, as the three colored map suggests. So can the Freedom House actually claim that they know what freedom is for everyone? Perhaps the title should read Liberal Democratic Freedom in the World from a Western Perspective. Balthazar thinks he better has a look at the map again. Even without knowing what the graphic is about, it already tells you that the world can be divided into countries, and these form three different but independently homogeneous groups. After reading you learn that Team Green enjoys freedom at its best. So it shows freedom per country. It suggests that all citizens in one country enjoy the same freedom, but if freedom is experienced in a social reality, the relevance of a nation is only relative and differs from person to person. Balthasar lives in the Netherlands and he sees that he and his fellow citizens enjoy freedom as defined as best by Freedom House. As he has been on the student exchange to South Africa, he wonders what status they receive. All the South African citizens enjoy freedom at its best as well. Balthasar finds this quite striking. Does this mean that there is no difference at all? He feels that there are many more questions still unanswered. Of course the research is more nuanced, but that is not captured in the map showing three homogeneous worlds. He asks himself, does it really show how free people are in the world? And now it is up to you. What did you see during this video and what did you not see? As Pierre Bourdieu once said, the eye is a product of history reproduced by education.